Let's head to Milton, where a small museum dedicated to furniture maker Thomas Day has been upgraded to a state historic site. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, I am Michelle Lanier, and I am Division Director of North Carolina Historic Sites. And we are celebrating the birth of our newest state historic site, Thomas Day State Historic Site. We want to tell the story of his artisanship. We want to tell the story of his life and context with the land. Three, two, one. Thomas Day! Born circa 1801, Thomas Day was a free man of color, and in antebellum terms, free issue, meaning neither of his parents were ever enslaved. Day was an extraordinarily successful business person, building cabinetry and furniture in the shop he started in Milton, North Carolina. Day's innovative use of a steam-powered sawmill beginning in the 1850s and his assembly line process helped establish the large and productive shop as one of the most prosperous in the South. Hi, I'm Earl Imes, here in Milton, North Carolina, at the Thomas Day Museum with North Carolina Weekend, and it's now an official state museum. I can't wait to see it. Come and join us. You see, they actually recruited him, the old tobacco planters recruited him to come here and set up shop. <laughs> Cabinet maker Jerome Bias has studied the history of Thomas Day's traditional woodworking techniques. Hey Jerome. Hello. Good to see Jerome. you. Yeah, man. Good to see All you. Right. Here at the new Thomas Day Historic Site in Milton. Quite the, it's quite the event. I'm so proud of this. this We've been working good. at this for many, many years. You know, we couldn't have a better reenactor, man, to do what Thomas Day did. I love doing eight, eight period woodworking and this is a great place to do it at. Well, you know, Speaking about this space, what a space that had such a revolutionary impact on society and economy in North Carolina and throughout the country with a steam-powered sawmill. And tell us about some of the techniques of uh, this latest technology down in the South. Often people think of Thomas Day working alone in a shop. And in this case, he wasn't working alone in a shop, but he's got a building attached to this building that's 25 feet wide, 75 feet long, and in that building, he's got table saws, he's got lathes, he's got shaper tables, he's got many of the power tools that we have in our shops today, he's got right there and then. It's, it's really interesting when you look at the bills, bills of sale. He's making, he's selling things to everyone of various pocketbook amounts. If you have a little bit of money, he's got something to sell you. If you've got a lot of money, he's got something else for you to, to sell you. And he's, and he's gonna have, he's working on a large enough scale that he's got, this, this space here would have been his wear room. He's the emerging furniture talent and uh, furniture maker in this part of the state. He's doing a really amazing job in that the people in this area can get any kind of furniture they want. The railroad's not far away, the river's not far away, so they can get anything from Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. And so he's competing against those furniture makers and what he's producing here. And the amazing thing is that here in the back, back country, North Carolina, this man has got this wonderful furniture factory and is competing for price, quality, and design with the latest designer furniture makers out of Philadelphia, New York, and Boston. Historic Milton, North Carolina has other links to Thomas Day's tie here. And just up the street, from the Thomas Day Museum in Milton, North Carolina is the Milton Presbyterian Church, established 1826, where Thomas Day built the pews and sat on the front row every Sunday morning. We expect that we will have many people following our journey as we develop the site. It will have multiple buildings um, where people will be able to see his workshop. We also have a visitor center. All of it's in development. And so if people want to know how to stay involved, we invite you to follow the Thomas Day site on social media. The Thomas Day State Historic Site is at 148 
Broad Street in Milton. The site's not officially open, but they do allow private tours. To visit, just book a volunteer at 336-234-0030.